What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm here to talk about the man No Way Jose debuts. And I gotta say something. I honestly wasn't feeling this guy. But, like I said, it's first impression, okay? Not supposed to diss a dude on his first impression. But, uh, the music hits. You know, the lights goes off and his music hits and whatever. And it starts by, with, with a catchy chant. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. I mean, it's catchy, don't get me wrong. But it's one of them stereotypical WWE chants. I guess he's going to be, the chant's going to be more over than him. Quote me on that. Uh, and the dude comes out dancing, which... Uh, WWE has not learned their lesson about the dancing gimmick. The dancing gimmicks do not work. Example A, Fandango. Example B, Brodus Clay. Why? Those two obviously didn't work. I don't know why they go back to these dancing gimmicks, but okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. So the match starts, and just like how I predicted, the No Way Jose chants start to go. And look, I'm not trying to go at anyone who likes the guy. I just want to give my thoughts about his first impression. Because my thing is, the reason I'm doing this is because WWE fans have a tendency to overreact to things. Like, I don't know, Conor McGregor this weekend. Like, holy shit. He, he doesn't, the man has clearly stated in interviews that he doesn't like professional wrestling. But all these fans go, ooh, Conor McGregor might be going to the E. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fans have a tendency to overreact. I mean, I still think they're overreacting to Baron Corbin. That dude's improved. I used to be a Baron Corbin hater, but that dude has improved, yet the NXT fans tend to still shit on him. I don't understand that. Uh, maybe maybe it's the fact that he's a very good heel. I don't know what it is, but you don't really have much to shit on about that dude. He's improved on the mic and in the ring. That's coming from a dude who used to hate him. But uh, go through this match, and you know, it, Jose starts chain wrestling with Alexander Wolf, his opponent. You know, he, he starts dancing. Like, at one point, Jose had Wolf in a headlock. And how can I explain this? He he just started, I don't know. If you didn't watch the match, you know, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. If you saw the match, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, he started dancing. He started unlocking the headlock, the dance, and all that. Look, right now, the gimmick he's got, lower level on the main card. By the way, Tyler Breeze's gimmick is the same. I feel these NXT fans are going to overreact to this. And I'm sorry. I actually like Tyler Breeze. He seems like a cool dude. I hate his character, though. Uh, I just, I don't like the whole Prince Pretty thing. I don't really fucks with that. But he seems like a chill dude. But his gimmick does not work on the main roster. People aren't going to relate to a dude who comes out there with a purple vest and a purple selfie stick that doesn't work on the main roster so i'm telling you right now his gimmick jose's gimmicks lower level that's comedy relief right there but uh you know i won't go through some of his moves he hit during this match i mean he had a pretty sloppy snap mirror in my opinion it was sloppy uh you know man he uses an airplane and, you know it's just like dude like he uses the airplane for a couple of seconds and then he stops like like he's showing like dizziness from the airplane and then he's like all right yeah i'm fine and he just goes at it again and just like uh, i just <laughs> i'm trying to be nice here uh then he had a pretty nice leg drop i'll give him that much he had a pretty nice leg drop uh i hit he hit a pretty loose arm drag in my opinion it wasn't like uh, it's like he wasn't really going for it it's just kind of like Alex, Alexander Wolf jumped into it, then fucking um, Jose going into it. I mean, if you've seen an arm drag, look at Aiden English's arm drags. It, like, it looks crisp as fuck. This arm drag looks, it just looks loose. Uh, he hit some pretty nice jabs, which <laughs> I'm going to go through his finish here. Uh, like I'll say again, he hits some pretty nice jabs, but... A jab should it be a finisher, but uh, he hit a pretty nice body slam. Uh, I, he hit some pretty nice double edge chops. He hit a loose, or I shouldn't say loose, but it, to me, a terrible bulldog. If you're gonna use a bulldog like that, do not come off the ropes, take your dude like this, and land on a knee. I'm sorry, that's a stupid way to use a bulldog. 
I've always hated the way Jericho uses his bulldog because it always looks sloppy. Go back and look at some of Jericho's matches where he just takes the dude with one hand. Just no, no. You gotta wrap the dude up like Bret Hart usually does. Sorry for hitting my table here, but you gotta wrap the dude up just like that and take him. That's the only way to use a bulldog, in my opinion. Don't use the one arm or the one arm, one hand bulldog. No, it doesn't work like that. So to me, he had a sloppy bulldog, and the finish of the match didn't fucking help. His finish is a punch? A punch. You know, I was complaining. I didn't make a video about it, but I was complaining about Austin Aries' finishers. Matter of fact, I was AJ Styles' finishers. What else with the fucking finishers in WWE right now? You know, for years, I've seen AJ Styles hit the... the I'm not calling that. The forearm. The forearm. The springboard forearm for years in TNA. And then all of a sudden he goes to the WWE. One, they rename it. Two, he's hitting it as a fucking finisher. I mean, for years I see Austin Aries hit the roaring elbow as a signature move. For years. And all of a sudden he gets the NXT and he's using it as a finisher. What's up with the fucking finishers? These finishers aren't strong. A springboard forearm should not be taking people out. The roaring elbow, no matter how devastating Gable looks, shouldn't be taking people out. Give Austin Aries the brain buster. Let Styles use the Styles Clash a lot more often and give this dude Jose a new fucking finisher. A, a punch? Really? A punch? Okay, but like I said, don't overreact to this, okay? This dude, I just don't want people to overreact. Jose clearly needs to improve some more. It's only his first match, okay? I just want to see, I don't want to hear knock the dude. I'm just going through the match here. I mean, there's things he could improve on. This dude could be the next Rock for all we know. I highly doubt that. But you don't know. Uh, because I see people nowadays, especially in NXT, they like to overreact to dudes who they don't like, like Elias. Okay, I actually think that dude has talent. He has. He doesn't have the greatest move sets yet, but the dude has talent. But for some odd reason, he, he shows this I don't give a fuck attitude, and the fans give him not like heel heat, but like that go away heat. Where they just want him to get off the television screen. Like Barry and Corbin. They want them off. Like Eva Marie. Which I actually agree with the Eva Marie thing. She fucking sucks. But uh, till next time. If you like wrestling content. Subscribe to me. And peace out.